what's in my calving toolbox? Um, you can get very advanced, but there's just a few simple key things that are important to have around for calving season. The first thing is an actual toolbox. This is a great project if you have a 4-H or um, you have a kid in your life and you want to have them get something put together. I just use a simple toolbox. This is an example of what we use here, um, but it's nice. You can keep it clean. It's lightweight. I take it with me where I need to go. I store things inside of it. The things that I store inside of it um, are very general and simple. So you want to start with having some sort of lube. This is an example of the gallon size. Um, you can put it in a nice little squirt bottle. So I do carry around a squirt bottle that's going to fit inside my toolbox. So fill this up. Make sure you have that in there. You need lots of lube when you're pulling calves. This is just a general, generic, non-spermicidal water-based lube. So I don't use anything. Uh, there are some that have some solution in it, like some Novasan solution, so some disinfectants. You don't necessarily need that. They're going to be a little bit more expensive. But as long as you're keeping clean with a disinfectant in your bucket and your water, you don't, you don't need to go beyond that. I think um, you can get a gallon for $10 probably. So yeah, just a non-spermicidal generic lube, keeping it in your squirt bottle because it's easier to have, but make sure you have a gallon. Um, the second thing is a disinfectant. This is Novasan solution. You don't have to use Novasan solution. You could use just dish soap, um, but make sure you have something in there that you're gonna dilute out into a nice clean bucket you're gonna use this to make sure that you clean that back into the cow really well. And you're also gonna put your chains down inside of it. Speaking of chains, um, that's loud. This is a chain that I use um, when we pull a calf. It's got two loops on each side. These are, I like chains, uh, this is a debate that I have, but I like chains over straps and I've used both, but chains are better for me because I can keep them cleaner and also I can get that half hitch uh, on that foot that we had talked about, but making sure that I can loop it on and get a good grip on the calf when you go to pull it. In addition to chains, make sure that you have two sets of these handles. These are really good to help grab that chain. Once you get it on the feet of the calf, you hook it onto the chain, you give one to yourself, you give one to your buddy, and then you have enough traction to pull that calf. You should not need any more force when you're pulling a calf than the strength of two people. If you are not getting the calf out that way, it shouldn't come that way. Calf pullers are good to have if you know how to use them, but you can also get in a lot of damage. So if you're not familiar with a calf puller, I wouldn't recommend it unless you go and ask your veterinarian for a demo. That's a good place to go. But you should definitely be able to progress with two people pulling on that calf. The other thing I have are sleeves. These are just OB sleeves. They go up to my shoulder. These are a size small for me. They work well, so they do come in different sizes. Um, and then I also do keep a latex glove in there. That way I put the glove over my, my sleeved hand when I'm going to pull a calf. I also have a calf tuber, somewhere close if it doesn't fit inside my box. I do use this if it's necessary. This, is, this is, can be intimidating. Um, if you don't know how to do this, you wanna ask your veterinarian for help but make sure that it's clean. Make sure that there's no frayed edges. Make sure the calves haven't chewed on it before. Um, and it definitely needs to be as clean as possible after each use. Um, it's probably a good idea to have some sort of colostrum replacement. Uh, make sure that you talk to your veterinarian again about which type to use. There are a lot of things on the market and you wanna make sure that you're getting the right fit for the calf um, and, and make sure that you read the directions that are on that bag. I also keep a, a bottle of iodine or some sort of navel protectant just to spray on the calf after it's born. Um, sometimes iodine can be a little irritating, so they do make some different products that are on the market. Again, talk to your veterinarian on which one that you would prefer to use. And then other things is just having a few types of syringes. Um, this right here is a 20cc syringe and a five. Um, you know, anywhere in those areas are good to have for different medications and the appropriate needles that you would need. And then I don't have a picture of it here, but I do keep some types of medications in my box. Um, that is definitely gonna be whatever relationship you have with your veterinarian and your protocol for your operation. The thing you wanna make sure that you're aware of with those products in your box would be expiration dates and the way that they've been stored. So if you haven't looked at them in a year, um, there are some medications that need to maybe stay in the refrigerator. Um, also, a really important key is understanding the withdrawal dates on those medications. 
So having a list of those inside your box is good because sometimes you can't always remember. Um, so talk to your veterinarian about which ones are going to have the withdrawal in case you run into a situation that you need to know that. And then the last thing that I didn't mention, but, but should be one of the first things inside your box, is the number for your veterinarian. So tape it inside, have a, have a picture, a phone number, something, so that you know who to call um, when you need help. Mm -hmm.